making a quick video while I'm thinking about it of uh, changing the center lock wheels because there's a lot of little stuff to know. So here we go. These are the track tires, the OZs. You first you take this little thing off with a little tool that is given to you by Porsche. Then you put the tool on, you have to lock the brake and you do that with the spreader. So you set the brake against the seat. It helps to have a two by four. The two by four you put up against the seat and then you put the spreader against that. So you do that first. With the back ones, you just set the brake and that's enough to hold the wheel in place. Okay, here's the torque wrench. This head snaps in and it acts as either a breaker bar, which is this thing up here, which extends, or as a genuine torque wrench, which you also have to use this extension bar to get enough torque, which is 445 foot pounds. So first off, you put on the breaker bar, which is this plus this. You break this nut, which is very hard to do. Then you go back, you take off this by pushing the button. And then this is super important. I missed this. See where it says CW on one side? And on the other side of the bar, it says CCW for counterclockwise. So since tightening a Porsche center lock wheel is a clockwise thing, you have to make sure that this part here is on the same side as clockwise. If you don't, it won't correctly figure the torque. You'll over torque and then it'll be really difficult to break it with the breaker bar. This is the centering tool, which you can use or not use. It's probably not necessary unless you have ceramic brakes, but this goes in and then you can thread the wheel onto this. It makes it a little bit easier to load. I didn't end up using this because I have steel brakes and the wheels aren't that heavy. Here we have the Porsche center lock tool and this is given to you. It's in the front of the car where it has to go and stay. This fits on and this is what you get the cap off with like so. But then the back of this right here is a tool that you use to push out the little lock inside. And that's super important that the lock completely engage. So to give you a better idea what I mean by the lock engaging is this thing here has to be popped out where it's completely flush. It will not, it will only pop out flush one out of maybe four times that you tighten it. So this tool that you just use to get the cap off, the back of it is the thing that you use to push in and out to pop this out. And it will eventually pop out if it doesn't pop out, you have to take the whole thing off and then tighten it. Then it will pop out. When you're fitting the cap, you'll notice there's a little area right here. That area has to go on that little part there for that all to fit together. Okay, let's talk about jacking up the car. Uh, I use blocks just to sort of make it so that it's not sitting on this pad because you have this little sharp area right here, which will probably cut the pad. So the blocks seem to work pretty well. Obviously, we, I got the jack that's within the lift here to get all four off. Super important that these not be loosened or tightened unless they're off the ground. They cannot be tightened on the ground. Okay, lastly, the Magic Grease Castrol Malib Alloy Paste, which is actually a aluminum paste. You have to have plenty of gloves. And this stuff, once it gets on your hands, it's really difficult to get off. Uh, it also gets on this thing, which is difficult. Make sure you have paper towels. Make sure you have the castrol. Make sure you have plenty of gloves. You have to liberally put grease on the inside of the wheel and on the hub itself. There's also places you don't put grease, so make sure you read the file on that. Now let's discuss torquing procedure. With this particular one, you'll notice that one side it says remove, one side it says tighten, loosen. So basically what you're gonna do is loosen this way, counterclockwise, tighten this way. So remember the wrench, you have to make sure that's on the correct side. Uh, the other thing you have to know to do is, when you tighten it down, which is about 445 pound feet, what you really wanna do is tighten it to 445 and your torque wrench will break loose. Then you put, you take off the torque wrench, put back on the breaker bar, loosen it about 90 degrees. So from here to about here, It'll be completely loose. At that point, you'll re-put the uh, torque wrench back on, tighten it back to where it breaks loose again, and you're all done. The problem with doing that, though, is you have to make sure that center part pops back out with a little tool. If it doesn't pop out, you have to 
repeat the procedure I just mentioned. One other thing, uh, when you store the wheels, I'm using these little cardboard separators that the tire rack gave me because these wheels, they stick up a little bit off the tire, so they could be easily damaged. So I've got these kind of in a pancake configuration to protect the actual wheel.